Um, so now what about in Australia? What about the real issues here? Well, we're here we've got some fascinating things going on. And the first is our peak energy consumption, which you know is a massive issue. And I happen to think that you have a contribution to make to dealing with this challenge. You know that 40%, as I say, of all the energy in, in this country is used or wasted heating and cooling buildings. I say wasted because you know and I know we could produce that as a stroke in many of your buildings by 30% with the right technology. I've seen the stuff downstairs. You know it and I know it. But uh, the clients are still reluctant to buy it. Um, we know that air conditioning in Australia is producing 77% of all your greenhouse gases. We know that on a hot day, um, in 100 hours a year, in 100 hours a year, uh, the, the temperature is so high that we see a massive peak in electricity demand. And we know that at that time, on those hours, that the cost per megawatt hour jumps from $50 to up to $10,000 per megawatt hour. And why is that? Well, that's because you've got the electricity companies, poor things, who are having to build this huge infrastructure to simply make sure that we don't have brownouts during a hot day. And that infrastructure sits there doing absolutely nothing, just corroding and wasting away. And then for the few hours, in those 100 hours, it has to earn its entire keep for the year. And that's why those costs are so high. Now, what if we could manage that? What if we could actually uh, reduce overall national demand so we don't have to build another wave of power stations in the next six months, firstly? Secondly, what would happen if we could actually manipulate those peaks? Could, we, could it be done? Yes, it could. One of the ways that we could do that um, is with automatic meter readings, uh, where every household, every factory, every hotel, every business is being monitored for electricity usage almost on an hourly basis. And that would allow us to do two things. Firstly, um, and, and, and many of your largest buildings are, I know already have these kinds of relationships with their suppliers. But firstly, it allows us to reward or punish people for using electricity at a peak time. It allows us to have variable pricing so that, uh, that, so that for every hour could be priced differently during a 24-hour cycle. Uh, it allows us to um, encourage people to push the turning on of a, of a domestic washing machine into a lower a uh, lower period when the sun has gone down. It allows us to, to have weather variable pricing. It allows us to say the, the, uh, that whenever the official government forecast for the following day is, uh, is of a temperature above 35, we automatically increase our electricity prices to you by 30% for that 24-hour period if you subscribe to our weather variable scheme. Our weather variable scheme means that we also offer huge discounts to you on any day when the temperature is between X and Y. And you sign up for it if you like. It's not compulsory, but it helps us to manage our peaks and flows. Uh, would it work? Yes, it could. Remember, at the top edge, even if you only cut percent, uh, the, the peak consumption by 2 or 3% uh, on the hottest day, you'll have done a huge amount in terms of managing this challenge. And uh, uh, what about other things we can do? Well, of course, we, could, we, we can, as you know, there is a technology downstairs to cut the aircon cost by 30 to 50, up to 30, up to 30 to 50 percent in some of the least efficient buildings in Australia. Um, you know how it's done, and uh, I, I, I'd be fascinated to hear just how quickly a beautifully balanced building gets completely out of balance. Well, a couple of tenants in there, a few, a few, uh, a few partitions put in, and a few other bits ripped out, and your and, and your wonderful design has disappeared down the plug hole. Um, and we know how few how few building owners realize how critically important this area is. Um, this is a moral issue. It's not a commercial issue necessarily. We, it's a moral issue. We can say we are on a mission to cut uh, aircon by 30% uh, across the whole of the country. Um, and therefore, we, are coming, we would like to do an audit as part of the National Energy Savings Scheme. And by the way, we can tell the client that it will all pay for itself. We're not even going to charge you for the audit. We're not going to charge you for the technology. We will, charge, we, will, we will get the payback out of the reductions in your energy bills for the following three to five years. It's fantastic. It's a no-brainer. Every single business in the whole of Australia, indeed the whole of the world, ought to be able to buy a proposition like that.